Yo, what's up my dubious divas, your boy Morse Mercenary, and today we are back with yet another custom metal wheel. Today we have a wheel I created called Algid, a defense type metal wheel with uh, interesting shape, I would say. Uh, sort of bird wing like in a way. Uh, I have it on the combo here, Algid Aquario, metal face too heavy. 90 sharp wide defense just for a nice all blue combo wanted to pair it up with these guys over here to have all the primary colors so yeah we have this nice defense combo here you could see it's got a bit of goofiness going on under here with one of these sort of uh, beak parts filled or er, filled in yeah and one of them hollowed out so it should have a bit of a twisted effect with a sort of heavier wheel and a different more interesting shape i'd say though it is a bit flat so careful using certain wheels on here uh you can see aquario sticks up quite a bit so yeah for the battles we're going to be doing today for this video i have saber fox returning on the rubber semi flat once again we have uh, Ash Leone on that 135 blade semi flat or 130. I keep forgetting what that track is. And of course, we have Arc Kitsakotal all wing 145 CS. So, yeah, uh, these three are a trio of wheels I designed all together. Uh, so, I figured I would have to battle them all at some point. And then Saber is here because it's Saber and it is a very fun wheel to use. I figured I'd bring it back. And this in, in, in video, this entire video is made using custom metal wheels. So uh, yeah, if you want to see how the other three perform against some official bays, some official wheels and such, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. And uh, of course, you can get the Saber Wheel from Junigatsu Shapeway Shop, uh, the Arc Wheel, the Algid Wheel, and the Ash Wheel. I'll probably put in just a folder and toss that up somewhere like in a Google Drive for you guys to go and download and order from uh, whatever your preferred metal printing service is. Aside from that, remember to go, down go downstairs. Okay, remember to go down below to use code MOIST at basinbricks.com to get 7% off of your order. Uh, they've got Beyblade X, they've got Beyblade Metal Fight, they've got Burst, they've got so much stuff. They've got plastic stuff too, of course, but I don't think as much. But still, you can go and get some good stuff over at BasinBricks.com. Use code MOIST for 7% off. These custom metal wheels are great and all, but you'll still need the real parts, the real tracks, tips, everything to use with your base. So make sure you stock up on those. And you can have some fun with these bays. Anyways, let's stop stalling and get into the battles. All right, guys, time to get right into this battle. First, starting against Saber, we'll see how Algid Aquario performs. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And we see it completely take the attacks from Saber there. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Oof, a super good deflection makes it a 1 to 0 so far. Completely tanking those without effort, not even on a really optimal tip either. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Two and let her rip. And another insane deflection. Saber just flinging itself right out of the stadium off its own recoil. Uh, very good display. We all know how Saber is uh, quite a strong wheel. If we saw the video it, uh, I did on it before. Uh, so it just being brushed off that easily is quite something, to, in, in my opinion at least. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the fight against Ash Leone. 
So, a battle of fire and ice. Let's see who wins this time around. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And let it rip. Oh, okay. Unlucky. I feel like if their positions were swapped in that scenario, uh, Algid would have gotten the knockout. But unfortunately, that's not how it went. Three, two, one. Go shoot. And let it rip. And yet another just insane direct knockout right away. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And an actual win for Ash was unexpected that time around, but I guess the low height of this wheel meant he could scrape. Also, the imbalance means its stamina is quite impacted. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Okay. Felt a bit like a snipe, though I think it did land first at least, so I can't really call it a snipe. Anyways, that will be a 2-2. Two two. So, this should be the deciding win. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Unfortunate loss for Algid that time around, but this combo did kind of exploit its stamina weakness and its low height that I gave this combo. So, yeah. Anyways, time for the Final battle with this uh, sort of more casual aesthetic combo. Here we go, running uh, Arc Quetzalcoatl against it. This should also be a test of stamina as well as its ability to tank just raw attack power at the same time. Uh, if I do decide to flower launch, so I'll do a mix of like flat and flowers for this one, considering you know the circumstances. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And a nice deflection right there. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And we'll try a stall for this one. Better rip. Yeah, as soon as this thing loses balance, I think this does need a taller combo. As soon as this thing loses balance, it is over. Three, two, one. Go shoot. And go shoot. Oh, and just a clean knockout from Art this time around. Three, two, one. Go shoot. And let it rip. And there we see it outspin that time around. I believe that is a 3 0 win. I'm gonna do or not 3 0, 3 2 win. Let me do one more battle just to try it out or see for sure. 3 2 1, go shoot. 3 2 1, let it rip. And there we have it for certain. A nice clean counter knockout right there. Sent at uh, Arc Katsukoto directly at the stadium. So let's go ahead and switch up the combo, see if we can improve its weaknesses here. 
All right, guys, so here we are, ready to switch up the combo a little bit. Uh, so the obvious things aside, we are keeping the metal face heavy and the metal wheel itself, obviously. We will be upgrading a couple parts here, though. We will be trading out the Aquario energy ring for the Eagle clear wheel. We will be replacing the sharp wide defense with just a rubber sharp, should improve the defensiveness, as this is meant to be a defense combo after all. And we noticed a big height problem using 90 on this bay. So I'm going to upgrade it to the 130, 135 track type of thing. Uh, just to give it a bit of extra height, but not make it too tall and let it be susceptible to upper or anything. This should put it in a nice middle ground where it should be able to brunt the force of a general range of attackers in terms of heights and such. So we're going to go ahead and use that combo. And of course, we've changed... Uh, Ash to have the striker combo on it with R145 RF and Arc to have Cancer and D125 Metal Flat being the sort of more improved combos that I had in the last videos as well. So yeah, be sure to go check out those videos of course to see how they perform in their different instances against different opponents and such. All right, guys, so first starting off with the Sabre rematch, of course, let's see how it fares against this upgraded Algid combo. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Oh, over in a flash. Saber was gone. Algid seems even better at handling those attacks now already. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna give that to Saber, obviously, because uh, they both left the same side of the stadium. Saber obviously left the stadium last, so yeah. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Jesus. Three, two, one, go shoot. And let it rip. And Saber is down once again. Two to one so far. Three, two, one, go shoot. And let it rip. Whoa, a clean knockout from Saber. It looks like the added height does leave it susceptible to some uh, other attacks. Three, two, one, go shoot. And let it rip. All right. I don't know if I want to keep that one in. I don't know if that was like just a bad launch. I think I will just redo that one mash real quick. Three, two, one, let her rip. And let her rip. And <laughs> just getting bullied in that match. Algid won with ease afterwards. Let's go ahead and try out some other opponents. All right, I did not realize how messed up the stadium and like the angles got last video or last clip. So uh, sorry for the probably weird angles and such, but hopefully it's much better this time around. Let's see, three, two, one, go shoot back against the Ash Wheel. Had much more staying power this time around, it seems. Tanked those attacks very nicely. 3 to 1, go shoot. 
and go Ooh, a nasty double knockout right there. Three to one, go shoot. And let it rip. And a nice deflection right there from Al Eagle. Needs one more win to seal the victory. Three to one, go shoot. And go shoot. Ooh, or one more loss to stay defeated against the Ash Wheel. 3 to 1, let it rip. And let it rip. Completely ate the hits from Ash so hard that it just kind of <laughs> defaulted into a stall rather than the flower pattern that I had launched it in. Very interesting there. Anyways, let's see. Can it handle this arc combo? Again, I'm going to be trying the stalling and I'm going to be trying the uh, just uh, sort of trying to flower launch it. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. So, big surprise, Algid cannot handle stalling, especially with a rubber tip. 3 to 1, go shoot. 3 to 1, go shoot. And let it rip. Ooh, it was tanking such. tanking so well against those hits but uh even uh, against arc it seems algid just got obliterated in that uh sort of more attack focused launch three two one go shoot and let her rip And of course, even with the sort of failed flat launch, I don't know what I did there. Uh, it still managed to outspin and yeah, highlighting the biggest weakness of Algid here, which is the sort of stalling potential, how easy it is to just outstall and uh, time out this Beyblade in a battle. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this down in the description below. I'm pretty happy with it and how it came out. I think it's a pretty fun wheel. Uh, as I said, I will be leaving the files for this down in the description below. Go ahead and get this. I recommend JLC PCB to print your parts. Uh, if I remember to, I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. But yeah, uh, go ahead, check it out, and I will see you guys next time, uh, whenever my next video is.